nicht erst seit Corona, aber sicher dadurch getriggert, sehen wir viele neue Kooperationen zwischen etablierten und PropTechs. Noch spannender, dass die, die es vorher schon gab, intensiviert wurden in dieser Phase und auf ein für beide Seiten gewinnbringendes Level gebracht werden konnten. Wie wertvoll das Thema Co-Creation und Kooperationen zwischen etablierter Welt und Tech-Welt sein können, dazu erzählt uns Milan Zahadnik von PropStar in seinem Beitrag, der jetzt folgt, mehr. Herzlich willkommen, Milan. My name is Milan Zaradnik. I'm the founder and CEO of Propster, and I'm happy to show you how cooperation could be a success factor for established corporates and prop techs. Before going into details, I would like to give you some background information about my person and Propster. I have an online marketing and digitization background with over 15 years of experience in the real estate industry. I see myself at the forefront of the di industry digitization and have always been interested in connecting technology and real estate industry. As a founder and CEO of Propster, we offer a digital configuration and collaboration platform to optimize the handling of property developments and the interaction with consumers. We enable property companies to configure the property based on the project criteria and offer their consumers, such as buyers, tenants and investors, a suitable selection of products and services for the apartment, house or office. Also, we help real estate companies generate additional revenue from their projects and create a better buying experience to increase buyer satisfaction. Being at the forefront of the digital transformation, we are facing some serious challenges. Number one, recruitment of digital talents. We need to put more effort into showing digital talents the huge opportunities we have in our industry. Number two, risk aversity. Corporates need to take more risks when it comes to adopting new technology and integrating new solutions. Number three, fragmentation. Our industry is one of the most fragmented. The challenge is to digitize the whole value chain. This means different participants with different requirements and starting situations when it comes to digitization. In the last 20 years, The increase in productivity was only a third of that of the economy as a whole. McKinsey named these three reasons as a result why the industry is practically at the bottom of the digitalization league. Yes, our industry will feel the economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic and the construction industry will also be affected. The past has shown that crises always have an accelerating effect on trends. The current pandemic already has an accelerating effect on digitization, but that does not mean digitalization will get easier. It needs a combined effort from established corporates and startups to lift our industry to the next level. And it also needs more cooperation between startups throughout the whole value chain. The reason why is simple. Only in the German speaking countries, we have more than 300 prop tech and contact companies and counting, offering different solutions to corporates. So we have to make sure the established companies are not dealing only with standalone solutions, but can rely on well-connected startups who understand how important it is to collaborate with each other to digitize a broader scope of the value chain. We need established corporates to sharpen our solution and develop them even closer to the needs of the industry. Many prop techs and contexts are in a phase where it's worth to adopt their solutions right now. Let's combine expertise and experience to help young companies to create a solution that can be used already today. There are a bunch of initiatives across Europe to connect the old economy with the new economy and drive digital transformation in our industry. They provide a lot of services for corporates and startups. A good indicator showing how well PropTech and Contact is developing through the past years are the increasing investments in startups across Europe. It will be interesting to see how this will develop through and also after the crisis the next years. The next slide is showing very well how many areas we have to focus on to match the corporate needs right now and in the future. Needless to say, there cannot be a standalone solution to solve all these aspects. To give you a short summary on the most promising areas where we need to collaborate to make things happen, I would like to mention the following. Number one, 
product-oriented approach. In the future, the share of standardized products will increase. Adaptable designs that are improved from one product generation to the next are in demand. Translated to the construction industry, this means modular construction and prefabricated elements which are produced in factories under constant conditions and repeatedly and delivered to the construction site for assembly. Number two, value added management through integration with industry compatible supply chains. Companies will strive to take over or control important shares in the value chain. This will be possible through vertical integration or strategic alliances. This also increases the opportunities for collaborative collaboration. The BIM process will accelerate these developments through changes in processes towards earlier decision making. Advanced logistics management and software platforms for complete solutions in sales and distribution enable more control in the value chain. Number three, customer orientation and branding. Specialization also offers the opportunity to bind customers more closely to their own brand. As in the consumer goods industry, this is achieved through product and service quality, adherence to delivery dates, service offerings and guarantees. Number four, specialization. To achieve higher margins, you have to be able to differentiate yourself in the market. Companies will therefore increasingly focus on niches in which they can build up competitive advantages. These can be certain materials or construction methods, for example. Number five, consolidation. The specialization and efforts of companies to increase their share in the value chain will lead to consolidation in the industry. Number six, investments in technology and production. Increasing prefabrication requires investment in new plant, production machinery and equipment, such as robotics for automated production. Investments in research and development, for example, in drone technology will increase. Number seven, investments in personnel. Specialization increases the importance of in-house know-how and investment in the company's own workforce. This becomes even more important against the background of the transition to the future of work. Most established companies are fighting for the best digital talent in order to develop future-proof business models. Number eight, internationalization. Greater standardization will further reduce geographical barriers. Solutions in segments such as infrastructure will be deployed globally, although the COVID-19 pandemic will contribute to slowing down this development. Number nine, sustainability. Although sustainability is already an important decision factor, we are only at the beginning of an increasingly rapid development. The effects of the climate crisis are being felt, are increasing and require action. Companies must deal with the sustainability of products, their production and procurement as well as their resilience and optimize them. This also applies to the working environment in order to make buildings safer. Critically to question are also the water consumption as well as the fine dust, noise and waste load. I hope you enjoyed my presentation and I'm looking forward to answer your questions right after this. To learn more about Propster and our online configuration and collaboration platform, do not hesitate to contact us.